Welcome to another Warning Lights video. Today we're working on a, uh, an old four plate Fiesta 1.2. Um, vehicle's going for MOT, but uh, we've noticed that the rear brakes are not up to the correct efficiency. So we're just going to clean these and just make sure everything's working as it should. Uh, obviously, remove the, uh, the wheel. Um, the way we access the actual brake assembly is we have to remove the hub, uh, remove the dust cap. You can either use a breaker bar uh, with a 30mm socket or we can use a, an impact gun. Now if these brakes have been adjusted and maintained properly, this drum should have just come off. Invariably, uh, they've not. So what we're going to be using is a hub puller. Uh, you can try to put screwdrivers behind this and pry bars. Uh, you are only going to do damage. The best way to do it is you want to apply force evenly and pull the, the hub off parallel to the axis, the axle. So this just goes on. with the two wheel nuts, just tighten the center screw up, and gently, sometimes just tap in the hub as you go, you can see this is coming off now. The reason this is difficult to come off is there's a corrosion ring around the outside and you can see the amount of brake dust in this. First thing we're going to do is physically examine the, the brake linings. Uh, there's sufficient. Here we can see the brake linings. There's plenty of material left on them. There's a leading and trailing shoe. The trailing shoe always uh, wears appreciably slower. It's the leading shoe that you need to uh, keep an eye on. There's no problem with this. There's no signs of any corrosion getting underneath the actual lining. So we can continue uh, to service that. Here we have the brake drum, and we're just going to remove the corrosion ring that's sitting around the outside. This is why the, the drum was difficult to take off. We're in eye protection for this, and a die grinder. As well as using eye protection, we're also using a, uh, a dust mask as well. Um, as I say, a lot of the corrosion metal come off these things when you're actually grinding is not good for you. Now, we zoom into this. You can see all we've removed is actually the corrosion from this. You don't um, use a die grinder on the main surface, you're going to end up with uh, breaking problems if you try to um, machine this area. And we're just going to just remove the, the glaze, the filter, you can see bright material now, so we can fit this back. This vehicle has ABS on it, so we're just checking that the ABS ring, the reluctor ring is intact, there's no damage and also there's no abrasion on the actual sensor inside. Slide this on. I'm just feeling for a small amount of play. So 
So what we're doing, we've just advanced the self-adjuster slightly. And now that's just a little bit snugger than it was before. It's very much trial and error. If you go too too far, it gets too tight, you have to use the um, the puller just to extract this. Back the adjuster off and then just pop it back on again. But it is trial and error. Put this back on again with the air gun. With all suspension um, and bearings, we want to check this with a, a breaker bar just to make sure that the this is actually tight. And we can see this. This is free to move. Dust cap goes back on. Gently tap it. You don't need to pound on this. Clean up the face of the drum. And we'll be applying an anti corrosion compound. We said on previous videos, there's various forms of uh, anti-corrosion. This one's an aluminium and copper. And we're just going to paint it very, very thinly over all the contact area. Put the tiny amount on the actual wheel studs as well. down low. It is literally just to spin the nuts down into contact. I'm going to be using a torque wrench to finally tighten the wheel. We go opposite. Making sure that the, the wheel is tightened evenly. Last time. And that's the job complete.